my channel so today's video I'm doing a bronze brown smoky eye it involves zero eyeliner actually that's a lie it does involve the tiniest little bit of eyeliner but you don't have to do a liquid liner or any crazy wings or anything like that I tried something different with my foundation I'm actually wearing a BB cream and a dewy foundation by MAC which is called studio tech for primer today, I'm using this Too Faced primer. It is not bad at all. Just popping that all over the face and then going in with our foundation. And I'm using my Beauty Blender Damp, of course, by the MAC Fix Plus. Going in with this BB Cream. I do enjoy this one because it is quite yellow toned. Sometimes the drugstore BB Creams can be really pink, but this one's nice and yellow. Um, it's a medium coverage, so you can definitely wear it natural or you can wear it built up um, to make a nice flawless coverage. And I'm giving this old foundation a whirl. I've had it for a while, so it's a little bit crackly. Um, just grabbing some out and popping it on with a foundation brush. And for these under eye bags, I'm going in with two different types of concealers. Duh! One to cover the darkness and one to colour match with my face. And to give my face a flawless finish because I am on a camera, I'm using the Napoleon Airbrush Spray Foundation and setting it with my favourite camera finish powder foundation. And just quickly I'm using these two shades here from the Australis kit to set my under eyes. And now to warm up my entire face, I'm going in with Napoleon Matte Bronze. This is just for the outside perimeter of my face. It is not to contour, it is just to give me a nice sun-kissed glow. And if you didn't notice, I have already done my brows, which I will link that tutorial below for you. And for the bronzer and contour, I actually use two different sized brushes. So to contour, you go in with a smaller brush because you want to create a sharp edge. Whereas bronzer, you want to go in with a big fluffy brush because you want to create um, a more bronzed effect all over. So once you've done your contour, you get your bronzer brush and blend it out. Otherwise, it's going to look too segregated and fake or it just won't be sharp and have enough dimension. Okay, so now that that is all blended out, we are doing a base for our eyeshadow. It is called Skinny Dip by Napoleon. It is a nice bone color that is matte, and I'm taking it up to the brow bone, and then I'm going in with this color here, which is called Trench Coat. So this is going to map out where we're going. It is going in the socket, and I'm using my 217 to blend it out. I'm also taking this under the eye, just to give a really smoky look to make sure that the entire circumference of the eye is smoky. Then we're doing the exact same thing with this colour here which is a terracotta shade and it is called Tawny Temptress. It is also by Napoleon. And the same as the first colour, we are smoking it under the eye with the MAC 217. Thanks for the 
What a bloody legend. Then we're going in with Napoleon Copper Topper. This would have to be one of my favorite eyeshadows. It blends really, really easily and it builds up to quite a dark brown if you do keep building it up. So we're doing the same thing and taking it on top. However, to go under the eye with this color, I'm going to use a smaller angle brush just so it doesn't get too dark under the eye. Okay, so now this is just to be really particular. We're going back into the very first color trench coat and we're getting a really big, fat, fluffy blending brush. What this does is it's going to fade out the gradient a lot nicer. Um, as I said, it's just because I'm really particular. I'm taking MAC Swoon, oh sorry, MAC Pink Swoon blush to give a really nice pinky tone to the cheeks. what a random time to put my blush on so now I'm going in with the last eyeshadow color which is called chocolate ganache also by Napoleon I'm using a very small precision brush to apply this only on the outside third of the eye and I am patting it on if you rub you're gonna get a ton of fallout so just keep pressing that in until you're happy with the darkness then what I'm going to do is take a similar size brush but a much fluffier type of brush which is also known as a blending brush and I'm going to blend it out. You can blend it as high as you like or as far out as you like. Because of my eye shape I like to go all out, why not YOLO. And then going under the eye with an angle brush. So now I wanted a little bit more warmth so I'm going back in with 20 Temptress and a big fluffy brush and I'm just going to smoke that and make it a little bit warmer and a little bit higher. This does make the look more intense so you definitely don't need to do it. Uh, if you feel like it went a bit too high, which it probably did just then, just grab a big fluffy brush and blend it right on back downtown. Now to tidy up the shape on the side of the eye, I'm using this concealer because it's nice and lightweight and it's not too thick. And now that that's set with a little bit of powder, we're going in with this Champagne Shimmer. It is a beautiful metallic foiled eyeshadow by uh, Makeup Forever. So we're popping this on the inside third of the mobile lid. Going in with a generous coat of your favorite mascara and then I'm popping on some lashes that I had lying around the house already. These have been doubled up and I honestly could not tell you what they are. Whilst I've got the glue setting a little bit on those, I'm going to get some highlight on this face. I'm using MAC Soft and Gentle as usual and just using some tweezers to get these lashes nice and close to my natural lash line and then just squeezing them together. Now as you can see the lashes do look a little bit separated from my eye and that's because the inside portion doesn't have that tiny little thin black band. So what you want to do is grab some liquid liner and just create a really fine line on that inside section. It just makes it look a little bit more seamless and yeah it just blends it all a lot nicer. Okay and for the lips I'm going in with Bobbi Brown Pale Pink and MAC saw lip pencils I'm not using any lipstick or gloss so I'm using Mac saw to line the outside perimeter and I'm going in with Bobbi Brown pale pink as a lipstick and whacking that all over the inside in and around my mouth so of course you can really make this look your own you can add a liquid liner or you can do it without the lashes personally I think I preferred it before I put the lashes on but anywho moving right along Okay, so for the final touch, I'm spritzing my entire face with MAC Fix Plus. It gives a dewy finish, and of course, I'm using my Beauty Blender to press that in and secure it so you don't see any little wet dots anywhere. That brings me to the end of this makeup tutorial, guys. I hope you loved it, and I will see you all in my next video. Mm -hmm.